Of course, you do have a knife. <laughs> so It better be good. <laughs> In 2016, we left our desk jobs and retired from corporate America, sold everything, and sought out the wide open spaces of America in our new home. Voyager, a 2016 Volvo 780 that takes us to many places. Orion, our 2019 custom built home on wheels. And Pathfinder, a 2016 smart for two. You might say, the yin to Voyager's yang. The names were taken from NASA missions to explore the final frontier, so we too have a passion for discovery. Our curiosity is a driving force in the places we go, the routes that will take us there, and the sights that we'll see and experience. Out of this desire to explore, it was only fitting that curiosity was born to our RV family. Traveling across this country, our journey is the destination. So come along with us to discover what's next. I'm still exhausted from Alaska. <laughs> yes. I hope you recover in the next couple of weeks. Uh-oh. Because we're going to start January. I've got your undivided attention for at least a few minutes while you're... Oh, you want some stickers for your bujo? No, for my planner. Your planner. Yeah. Oh, we're going to plan some stuff, huh? Well, we're going to talk about 2024. Ooh. We've got some uh, stuff coming up, some trips, some tours, as we call them. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I just wanted to talk about it while you're here. Of course, you do have a knife. <laughs> So, it better be good. <laughs> I always try to make it good. Oh, you do. I'm still exhausted from Alaska. <laughs> yes. I hope you recover in the next couple of weeks. Uh-oh. Because we're going to start January, like, 5th. Oh, yeah. man. First off, welcome, everybody. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we always do this. We always talk about what's coming up. I always plan the trips mm -hmm. and what we call tours. Yeah. Uh, they're not just trips. For us, they're tours. And we try to make them have where they make sense. Mm -hmm. But sometimes making sense isn't necessarily the quickest route. No. We... <laughs> We have a tendency to zigzag a lot, but what, so we've been full-timing for over eight years now, and what we started doing, we actually started scribbling this on a piece of paper. Oh, yeah. And we would so write confusing. down just, you know, big 50,000-foot level, you know, what, what schedule, what do we want to do? Because we have a pretty extensive bucket, bucket list to cover in the mm -hmm. next 30 years of, of stuff we want to go see. So. Right. Um, so we started writing down all the things that we wanted to go see and do and how much time we thought we would need in those places. Yep. And, um, and then we, I started writing it on a piece of paper as we're going down the road and then it just got just unreadable. We were scribbling and oh, moving yeah, things and yeah. it just became a hodgepodge of chicken scratch. So then I believe in, then I transferred it over to Excel and I have everything in blocks. Gee, what a surprise, <laughs> yeah. right? So Another spreadsheet. But what makes it, but it makes it a lot easier now because all I have to do is just drag and drop these blocks or yeah. these tours in different areas. And, yeah, exactly. Uh, and we try to do like a five-year, I'll say, fluid rolling forecast. Yeah. So we It's very fluid. Yeah, we look at where we want to go, mm -hmm. and we uh, put that on a, a five-year schedule, mm -hmm. and then sort of I plan accordingly, because sometimes I need to go out, you know, 12 months for reservations mm -hmm. or to check on something, you know, six months ahead of time. So, yeah. uh, so that just gives us an idea of what where we're going. Mm -hmm. So our tour coming up is going to be mainly on the west coast this year okay and we're going to leave uh, alabama around mm -hmm. january 5th mm -hmm. and the first stop is going to be quartzite 
Yeah, a lot of boondocking. We'll be out there a couple weeks. So how much, so just generically speaking, how much boondocking are we gonna do on this Southwest tour? Yeah, up until probably... Uh, I need to know the, how many more potatoes to prep. <laughs> <laughs> up until the end of March. Um, okay. It's going to be about 90 days of total time mm -hmm. that we're out. Probably about, um, I guess about 50 of those days <laughs> will be boondocking. Gosh, and thus the reason... <laughs> <laughs> That's the reason why I needed to do a temporary fix on our gray holding tank. Yeah, I was going to ask you about that. Yeah, because we yeah, couldn't because get the tank to fit. Couldn't get it to fit, and because of the new suspension uh, for the new axles on the truck. Yeah. So um, I did a temporary fix mm -hmm. and got some tanks in, and those will last us this coming year. Then I'm going to order some custom and get those to fit like okay. perfect. So we're gonna be back to what we had before. We'll be back to what we had before. Okay. Hopefully better. Better, of yeah. course. But the fresh tank is still good at what, 60 gallons? Yep, fresh tank, unchanged, and okay. that'll be good. And then, uh, yeah, in the gray tank, I did a, a, a sort of a temporary fix, and that'll get us through uh, next year. Okay. Yeah, until All right. I All right. get the new one ordered. Okay. So. Uh, yeah, January will be quartzite, then we're going to move down to Yuma for mm -hmm. about a week and Yay. get some... shrimp tacos! Yeah, down in Los Algodones, and maybe some, a little dental. Yeah, I need to get my teeth cleaned. Yeah. And then after that, uh, we're going to stop by Joshua Tree National Park. Yeah. We always try to do that for a few yeah. days. Yeah, that'll be interesting because we haven't been there since before the fire. So. Yeah, yeah. So we'll see what's going on with that. Mm -hmm. And then Palm Springs. Okay. Couple weeks. Is that why you wear your shirt? That's why I wore my shirt. <laughs> Love Palm Springs. Yeah. And so we're going to be there for, yeah, a few weeks. Well, you um, need to resupply on your date on the uh, flaming raisins. Yes, the golden and, flaming yeah. raisins. And, and then dates. dates for me. Yeah, yeah, and I can put them in my fruit shakes too. Mm -hmm. um, and then that takes us really into uh, February, end of February, we're going to go to Death Valley. Oh, good. National Park. There's a place we like to boondock there. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we'll do that uh, for, I don't know, maybe 10 days. Okay. And then, uh, then I'm not sure on this one. We might go to uh, Valley of Fire in Ooh. Nevada. Yeah. Ooh. There's some boondocking out there that I'd like to try. Mm -hmm. If we don't do that, or maybe if we cut it short, we might do a stop in Pahrump. Nevada. Yeah. We've never been there, have we? Never been there. Okay. And that's why we might go. Okay. Uh, <laughs> also, some uh, viewers, uh, they uh, live in Pahrump, and they've uh, sent some uh, comments, and so, you know, who well, knows? thank you, guys. Yeah. So, we'll, uh, we'll see about that. Then, uh, we'll make our way back down to Arizona, uh -huh. and we'll spend a couple weeks in probably Tucson. And then maybe go down to Mexico, drive down there, and check out okay. and Puerto Penasco. So, we're, so if we can't take the big rig down to Mexico, we're going to take the smart car. Maybe they'll <laughs> accept that. Yeah, I think we'll probably, literally, we'll go underneath the radar on the smart <laughs> car. Yeah, and then after uh, Tucson, we'll see some friends in Tucson, mm -hmm. say hi. We'll do some hiking, biking. And then after that, I think... We'll have some time to do Guadalupe Mountains National Park. That's been on your list. That I wanted to get there. And that's one thing, that, that, that block that keeps getting pushed out and pushed out yeah, and pushed out. Yeah. So. so we may try to go there. And then really, uh, after that, then we're going to head out uh, back east because we're going to check out the eclipse. That'll be cool. Yeah, and it's going to be a kind of a special area for the eclipse. So that'll be really neat. The place mm -hmm. we're staying is going to have a whole... You know, food trucks and entertainment and everything. So like it'd be a kind of a celebration. Yeah, it'd be kind of a neat uh, week uh, for the eclipse. Hopefully, we can see everything. Do I want to know how much that's going to cost? You do not want to know how much that's going to okay. cost. <laughs> I don't like her having a knife, man. You know. Hey, you came to me. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That is true. So uh, then that takes us. Uh, it's April. Uh, we might try to check out some diamonds mm -hmm. uh, after that. And then we're going to continue east because we're going to get to one of your bucket list areas that you wanted to go to, Savannah. Okay, good. Yeah. 
Because so, that, that's been pushed out like four times oh, now. A lot. Yeah. So we might actually end up being in Savannah almost three weeks. Ooh. We're going to do a state park there, Skidaway Island, uh -huh. and then we'll uh, be at a campground for a couple of weeks because uh -huh. we're going to try, once again, something new. Uh -huh. We're going to do a huddle. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That'll be fun. Not really a rally, but it's a huddle mm -hmm. with a, a Switch It Up crew. Yeah. And we uh, met them at the uh, national H rally. Yeah. yeah. And some uh, uh, viewers and mm -hmm. some friends of ours, uh, Darlene and Jim, mm -hmm. uh, they've gone to quite a few huddles. Mm -hmm. And so we're going to uh, check it out and see what that's all about. Say cool. hi to everyone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Something different. Uh, oh, after hi. that... Uh, we're going to head up towards uh, Pennsylvania, I think Gettysburg, because mm -hmm. that's kind of in the area. So are we doing Pennsylvania this time? No. Okay. No. We're just going to do Gettysburg. So originally the tour was going to be, this is kind of funny, so originally the tour was going to be the northeast, like the entire from, I don't know, from Virginia all the way up to Maine. Oh, yeah. And then we started looking about them, and there's just so much stuff to do. Yeah. That then David says, oh, we're going to spend two weeks in Pennsylvania. And then we started looking about all the stuff there is to do yeah. in Pennsylvania. And that's like, well, we need like six to eight weeks yeah. for Pennsylvania. And um, so then we decided we're going to break that up into the Mid-Atlantic and then the Northeast. Yeah. But um, we're on the East Coast, so I figured that we'll we had kind of a couple weeks Let's, yeah. you know, how do you eat an elephant? You know, one, one. bite at a time. Uh -huh. So we're just going to, you know, sort of take little nibbles of Pennsylvania yeah. and that uh, okay. area up All east. Right. So that, uh, let's see, that's May. Mm -hmm. Then uh, we're going <laughs> to, then we're going to head back west. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You know, I think one of our New Year's resolutions was try to be more efficient and spend less money. That's true. But we got to exercise Voyager because... <gasps> He only had like 8,000 miles on him this past Normally year. Normally we do 20. Voyager yeah. only gets 20. He only had seven this yeah, year. Yeah, so, so he's feeling a little neglected. So we're going to exercise uh, our, our truck mm -hmm. a little bit. So we're going to so head we'll go back, back out east. Uh, you May mean west? I'm sorry, west. Okay. That's right. We were east. We're going west. Mm -hmm. And we're going to possibly try to uh, do a little visit on maybe the covered bridges of uh, oh, Madison cool. County, mm -hmm. and then maybe stop in at a scrapbook store. <gasps> oh! Maybe. The one in Ohio? Uh, no, the one in uh, Iowa. 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 Yes. Yes. Yay. Yeah, she's read about this big old scrapbook store in Iowa, so we're going to try and, and go there for a day or two, mm -hmm. let her get her fix uh, <laughs> with scrapbooking, and then we're going to head to Idaho, mm -hmm. and we're going to try to check out Twin Falls. That'll be good. Yeah, and they've got a lot of uh, neat geologic features there, waterfalls mm -hmm. and such, and hikes. So we're going to do that for, I guess, about a week or so, and then that mm -hmm. takes us to the West Coast Rally. Mm -hmm. So we'll be there for a couple of weeks. We're actually going to present this year. Uh, actually, most years we go to the West Coast yeah. Rally, we end up presenting. So, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so we told Chad we'd be there, so he's... Given us uh, about, what, three topics, I think? I think so, yeah. Yeah, yeah, to present on. So we're going to do that. Uh, then after that, we're going to really, pun intended here, we're going to snake our way near the Snake River mm -hmm. and uh, up in Idaho, do some rafting, mm, uh, do fun. some jet boat up the Snake River, mm -hmm. and uh, do some boondocking up there. And that'll be a good part of July, yeah, actually. We were supposed to do that a couple of years ago. Yes, that's exactly right, yeah. yeah. And so we're going to do that, and then that will take us towards Montana, mm -hmm. and that'll get us to another national park, Glacier National okay, Park. Good. Yeah. So we last time we were in Glacier was like six years ago. Yeah, it was 2017. Yeah, it was way was, too early. That was on our way to Alaska, and we only spent like a day there, and almost everything was closed anyhow. Oh, yeah. What we, is it with everything being closed up north? <laughs> I don't know. It's because we're too early or too late. So that'll be, yeah, that'll be in July. So most of July actually is going to be in that area. Mm -hmm. So we're going to, a couple of weeks, and we'll do Glacier. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's a, some boat uh, tours up there on, like, they have like five lakes up there. I didn't realize it. Oh, really? Yeah, it's really cool. So we're going to do that, and then uh, more boondocking. We're going to hit some places in Montana mm -hmm. and try to find some nice lakes, do some more boondocking, and then another national park towards the... Uh, uh, into August. Now you said Montana. Montana. 
So Montana has zero zero sale zero percent sales tax. That's true. So are you gonna? Um, so <laughs> so I actually track sales tax by state, and whenever we have what a surprise. <laughs> Uh, whenever we have any major expenses, um, we try to do it in those zero sales tax states. So we've got to get uh, some new tires on Voyager. Oh, yeah, so that's right. Are you planning that anywhere? Do I need to give you some sticker tires? I got tire most stickers? I have most of August sort of open for boondocking and such. And so we, we need to get some new tires. Yeah, we'll then. get some new tires. I mean, that's, that's a lot of, that's a big savings getting big savings. tires up there. Yeah, so I'll check prices. Okay. And then as we get to the end of August, want to try to go to Theodore Roosevelt National Park <laughs> in North Dakota. I've been wanting to go there for a couple of years now. Yeah. And then after that, that takes us into September. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to go down to Texas mm -hmm. and uh, Conroe. Yeah. Yeah, we'll be there for about three weeks. Mm -hmm. That's where we get a lot of our... Our doctors. Projects, doctors, yeah. uh, my Whataburger fixes in, stuff like that, you know. Yeah. <laughs> and then after that, uh, then we leave from Conroe, Texas, and we go almost directly north, and that's when we go to the National Rally. Okay. So we're going to make the National Rally yeah. this year. The whole thing this time. The whole thing. That's the plan, Steve, okay? <laughs> <laughs> really. And we're going to do some presenting. Mm -hmm. And then... Uh, before and a little bit after will be the family reunion. We'll be mm -hmm. back on the farm. So that's always really and cool. And you're hoping the grandkids are going to go this time. Yeah, yeah, the whole family. That'll mm -hmm. be really cool. Neat. So, and maybe they'll be harvesting again. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So then uh, that uh, takes us through really October. Mm -hmm. And then as we get into November, we're going to try to get down to Florida. Okay, well, that'll be yeah, good. Yeah, do a little bit of boondocking. We'll hit some of our thousand trails that we go to. Mm -hmm. Uh, and then around um, uh, Thanksgiving, looks like we'll try to be in the Orlando area mm -hmm. and maybe, you know, hit maybe like a Disney Springs or something like that, and, but just kind of take it easy. So November will be our, our sort of take it now easy. Now, you had read where that place, what, what's it called, that, that opened up finally that you've been wanting to go to for eight years now? Oh, um, yeah. Yeah. So uh, down at Pensacola... It's the Naval uh, Aviation Museum, <laughs> and it was watching, closed I mean, for literally years because for of COVID. Eight years, our first year on the road, he's like, "I want to go down there." And then our, you know, things change. Life happens. Oh and yeah. And so that's why Ugh. we keep everything on Excel. I don't even put it on pencil on a piece of paper anymore because it's just easier to drag and drop the blocks. Exactly. But, um, so it, that's gonna. We're gonna try to hit that at the end of October. Okay. Yeah, and that'll also be another national park. Uh, we're gonna try to get to Congaree, <laughs> uh, uh, Congaree National Park. So we there lived in South Carolina. Yeah, so we lived off and on in South Carolina for I don't know how many years, yeah. 10, 20 years. We're like two hours away from this place. And we've never been. Never been. So we're gonna go, we know to go in late fall, yeah. early spring because of all the bugs and everything. That's so. right. So we're gonna try to hit it late October mm -hmm. and then after that swing down since we're going to Florida try to get to Pensacola and do the Naval <laughs> Aviation uh, Museum. Okay. Yeah, and maybe the Blue Angels will be uh, practicing. Oh, yeah. So that you need to over check the, the schedule for that. Yeah, yeah, that'll be really cool. So we'll do that November, uh, Florida, first mm -hmm. part of December, and then uh, we're close to Christmas at that point. Mm -hmm. We head back up towards uh, Alabama. Back to Alabama. And that'll be our year. And then I'll... But don't hold us to it because things change. <laughs> Well, so we do know our daughter and son-in-law are not planning on having any more kids, so we don't have yeah. to factor that into play. Exactly. And but I do write everything in my planner in pencil, yeah, <laughs> just in case. <laughs> but yeah, so it works out uh, really nicely. And mm -hmm. so this is really nice. So yeah, so we like Disney. So I did that for my uh, my planner, yeah, I have and plenty it really of Disney stickers for and it you. organizes it by month. And uh, in the back here, I've got he some notes whenever he places where out. we can fit, boondocking yeah. uh, spots and things and like then, that. And as you guys know, I keep everything. Once we've been someplace, I put it on our um, camper night log yeah. um, on, on a spreadsheet. Yeah. So, and that goes back eight years. Yes. More than eight years. More than eight years. Mm -hmm. Yeah, even before uh, full-timing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so... So that's it. That's what 24 is yeah. uh, going to be. So we wanted to share the schedule with you because if we, if you happen to be in an area about when we're going to be, just let us know. We'll yeah. try to hook up because we always like to 
to meet up with the friends of the channel. Definitely, that's a lot of fun. I try to keep the videos within several weeks. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I get to three, sometimes it's two, but we try to keep it relatively current because mm -hmm. it's, you know, it's a channel based on our travels. Yeah. So that's it. Um, we hope you guys had a great holiday, uh, hope Christmas. You have a happy new year. Yeah. And we're looking forward to ours. Yes. Yeah. So we'll see you on the road. See you next week.